As I mentioned last week, there seems to be some serious UFO craze going on with a lot of UFO news, and I mentioned that I think that some of it has to do with the PR department at uh, the History Channel. Thing is, The Sun has an article about uh, a bunch of UFOs being seen over Ireland for more than four hours recently. Now that is purely unrelated to the History Channel's uh, PR department. Kind of interesting. You can check out the Sun article for more details. I think they even have a video there showing some footage of the UFOs. Speaking of the flurry of UFO news, Bill Nye even has felt compelled to weigh in, or at least someone asked him and he gave his opinion. Uh, he said that he thinks that it's one branch of the military not knowing what another part of the military is doing. In any event, there's a whole video of uh, Bill Nye talking about it. and You can check that out at a, a website called Kokomo Perspective. I'll have a link for that included in the details for this video. Apparently, uh, pop-up bars are a big thing, and starting in August in Southern California, at least according to Dread Central, a place called uh, Sinister Point Productions is going to be doing a series of uh, pop-up bars with a horror theme to them. I wish I was in that area of the world, because that sounds like something pretty cool to go check out. So I'm including both the link to the article and the link to their uh, the Sinister Point website. So you should be able to find out a lot more details. Hopefully if you're in the area, you can go check it out. Because it sounds like it ought to be a lot of fun. Uh, I wanted to bring your attention to an artist, a uh, pr progressive rock musician named Han Owl. His last name is spelled U-I-L, but he's told me that it means owl in English and is pronounced pretty close to owl. So that's how I'm going to pronounce it. In any event, he's recently released a video for a song of his called Devil's Night. Now, you may not think the song is all that spooky. I'm not 100% sure it's all that spooky myself, but the video features clips from the movie Nosferatu, which makes it of interest. Um, it's included in the Spooky Ventures uh, Spooky Music Video playlist, and I'll also include a link for it in the description of this video. So check it out, see what you think. The season premiere for uh, Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures airs tomorrow night. Uh, the episode was filmed at the Crescent Hotel and Spa in Eureka, Arkansas. For those who are in the area, or at least close to the area, uh, they're going to be doing a showing at the hotel that night. That seems like it would be a really cool place to see the show. So if you are, are, are managed to be close enough, go check that out. Either way, check it out on the uh, Travel Channel. A new horror series is coming to Hulu. It's called Into the Dark, and uh, it's going to be a monthly series of 
movie long episodes, each of them centered around a holiday that occurs in the month that's being aired. This should be pretty cool. Fans of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and particularly Freddy Krueger, should uh, be paying careful attention to an Indiegogo campaign. According to Screen Rant, there's a new movie, well, a documentary actually, supposed to be crowdfunded on Indiegogo. It's called Icon, the Robert England story, and uh, it's going to focus on Robert's whole career, but particularly his Freddy Krueger days and all that entails. So if you're interested in that, you should be sure and check out the Screen Rant article I'll have posted in the details and uh, give, give a look for that Indiegogo uh, campaign so you can participate and help get that funded. A new trailer for Guillermo del Toro's Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is getting rave reviews. I've checked out the, vid the video for it on YouTube, and uh, it looks pretty darn good as far as I'm concerned. Be sure to check it out. According to We Got This Covered, Wesley Snipes has been cast in a movie, zombie movie called uh, Outbreak Z. It's supposed to start filming later this year. And I know a lot of people really like zombie movies. I mean, who doesn't really? But So that should be pretty cool. It's, it promises to be a new twist on it with uh, martial arts combined with the zombie genre. So it should be interesting. According to AV News, uh, Jeff Ladlow, who's known for the Bloomhouse Truth or Dare movie, is has been hired on to do a movie about the Magic 8-Ball toy. It's going to be a horror film, so it should be of interest to those of you who like spooky ventures. And uh, you can find more information in the details for this video. So check it out and get all the news about the movie. Before we wrap up for this week, I'd like to call your attention to our Cafe Press store. You can find the link at our Spooky Ventures website at SpookyVentures.com. We've just released four new designs under Creepy Crawlers 1. Uh, we're doing Creepy Crawlers for June for our designs. You can find all kinds of cool t-shirts and sweatshirts and uh, bumper stickers glassware, all kinds of cool things there with some creepy crawly uh, artwork on them with our logo and the Keep It Spooky tagline. So check those out. Hopefully you find something you like and we're going to have another set of creepy crawler stuff uh, later in the month.
that's it for spooky news from Spooky Ventures for this week. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel again next week, and we'll have a brand new one. And remember, if you have any video you want to see featured on our YouTube that belongs to you, whether you want us to upload it as a video on our uh, YouTube channel or you think it belongs in one of our playlists, please let us know. Just get in touch at Keep It Spooky at SpookyVentures.com. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.